Returning to our story, his talk show is the hottest thing in the nation. But Jerry Springer now finds himself in the hot seat. How is he facing the allegations that his show is rigged with staged fights and coached guests? Is it all a hoax or not? We went behind the scenes to try and unravel one of the great unsolved mysteries. Who I sleep with or who I'm with is no one's business but mine. Meet Delta, not her real name, of course. That's because she is a he. Stay with me because this is going to get complicated. Delta has come to the Jerry Springer show to confront her brother Sam, who doesn't approve of her lifestyle as a woman or her choice of lover. That would be Rose, a stripper who wants the world to know she loves Delta, but that she's also sleeping with Milo. Are you still with me? She needs me. She don't need you. Need to be yeah. These are Jerry Springer's guests, and the only thing we can say about them for sure is that Delta is a man. After that, how much of their story is true, choreographed, or rock solid is anyone's guess. Everyone who works on our show knows what the rules are, and the rules are the guests have to tell the truth, and the producers cannot tell the guests to lie. But that's what 16 former guests on the Jerry Springer show alleged on the nationally syndicated TV show Extra this week. How many of you went on the Jerry Springer show and told the absolute truth? I was born a man. In Jerry Springer's world, anything seems to go. And therein lies its appeal and its problem. The more outrageous the story, the more impossible it is to verify. Take Delta, for instance. The first time Delta was on the show, it was because she was one of the two to 3,000 people producers say called the show's 800 number every day. That show never aired, but he, she, was such a perfect Springer guest that the producers invited her back. The first thing you need to remember is you got to be pumped up, energetic, and enthusiastic. Like all Springer guests, Delta and Rose are given a briefing or a pep talk by the segment producer before they go out. You have confidence. You have confidence, and you have confidence. Some guests have referred to this as a coaching session, but producers say it's simply to ensure the story unfolds well on the air. You put emphasis on it so that people can feel your pain. Feel the show says it does try to check out guests by asking for documents like driver's licenses or birth certificates, yeah. but that its best insurance might be this. Um, basically, what this really says in simple terms is that you are who you say you are, all guests must sign a legal document and are videotaped doing it, swearing that they're telling the truth. The penalty for lying is high and intimidating. We could sue you for the production cost, up to the production cost of the show, which is $80,000. We'll be right back. And executive producer Richard Dominic says they have enforced it. If I have guests who come on the show and sign a release that they're telling the truth and they're lying, they will be dealt with. This is our Do I, he said that Mom, he has he hit you? Yes. So what do guests get for telling their intimate secrets to millions? According to producers, an airline ticket to Chicago, hotel, meals, and a limo. They insist the only compensation is for lost wages or babysitting costs. Hi, how are you? But guests can also get their anonymity if they want it, and many do. They can choose from a closet full of clothes for a disguise, wear a wig, even use a fake name. Why do you, why do, you do that, agree, have phony names? Phony outfits, it, phony wigs. Because it's insignificant to the story. We're not out to hurt somebody. If they feel more protected not having their identity known, that's fine. The interest is in the story, not who these people are. These aren't famous people. But just who these people are is all anybody is talking about this week. Because these people went on television to say they weren't who they said they'd been. Overnight, everybody from the guests to the producers and everything from the stories to the trademark fights became suspect. How many of you actually rehearsed, choreographed your show before you went on? <laughs> the Springer Show took on these accusations in true Springer fashion and came out fighting. Richard Dominic. Nobody on the show has ever participated in duping anybody audience members, viewers at home, ever. Even the show's security, brawny off-duty Chicago cop, spoke up. You're telling me 100% sure that that, what we see up there, is absolutely real. 100%. 100%. It's taken off. 
to the moment. All of this once again forced Jerry Springer to defend his show. I'm saying if that happens, it's very rare and it's never supposed to happen. What seems to be happening is total confusion and media chaos. Guests who lied now say this time they're telling the truth. But other guests are going public insisting their segments were real. Nothing was scripted. Nothing was phony. As for the 16 people who came forward attacking the show's credibility, they've all signed with an attorney who says he's been inundated with offers. Meanwhile, he's consulting with a story broker who has Hollywood contacts. I told you this was going to be complicated. Jerry, what is your reaction to these recent allegations about the people who've been on your show? They're not saying just that they lied to you, but that producers for your show were in cahoots with them and this is all a sham. If that's true, uh, I don't want them around. Uh, the truth of the matter is, I want the show to be truthful. Your name is on this show. What um, have you done to find out who's telling the truth in this situation? In fairness, we have had uh, seven years of shows. That is 1,400 shows. At 10 guests per show, which is the average, that's 14,000 people on our shows. I am sure that if you talk to 14,000 of our guests, you would find not just 16, maybe 20, maybe 30, maybe 40 people, but out of 14,000, overwhelmingly, our people tell the truth. So where in all this Jerry Springer craziness does the truth lie? Executive producer Richard Dominic says the show doesn't have a problem. It simply may have a rogue producer on its hands in the person of Norm LeBeau. Stand-up comedian Jerry Stanhope says he was recruited to appear on a Jerry Springer episode in which LeBeau had mapped out a completely false script. Who told me to lie? Uh, I went in knowing it was going to be a lie, but I was working with Norm LeBeau. He's the one who set up the whole scenario. He told me the part I'd be playing. While the segment he describes has not yet aired, Stanhope has documentation he says proves he was on the program. If after we study the whole situation and we find out that Norm created scenarios that were not true, yes, of course, my suggestion to the legal department will be to fire him. LeBeau would not do an on-camera interview, but did tell us that he always checks out his guests, never makes up segments, and has, quote, done nothing wrong. But he says he is aware these charges jeopardize him and the show. Are you lying to the American people? No. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. <laughs> You're not going to marry him. And neither, says Delta, is she. What's the most important thing that came out of this show for you? Love. Mm -hmm. What a difference a week in the life of the Jerry Springer show makes. After all the allegations myself. that the show is rigged, we checked back with Delta, who says she's standing by her story for now. Meanwhile, she says she and Rose are no longer together. Her mother is not speaking to her, and her brother is mad they aired their dirty laundry on television. Thanks a lot for coming. Appreciate it. Hi. So where does all of this leave the number one talk show? At this moment, right where it was before this erupted. What damage do you think this has done to your reputation, Jerry? Oh, my reputation is soiled from the beginning. <laughs> I think people, no one watches our show thinking that they are watching the future of, of America, and this is very serious. They watch but our they show. But they do watch they... your show thinking it's true and that it's real. Well, apparently, according to newspaper articles, many people think it isn't. I'm telling you it is. I don't think most people think it's real. No, I think most people think everything stays. This isn't Watergate. This is a silly, admittedly, sometimes stupid talk show. That's all it is. And it's outrageous. And if things are being made up. I don't want them to be made up, but even if they were, big deal. Well, it is a big deal because it's not what it says No, it it's is. not. Bosnia is a big deal. Are people making too much of this, in your opinion? Yeah. We have one television show or one element of the me of media criticizing another element of the media. Why don't we talk about the world instead of TV shows? The Jerry Springer Show is turning out to have more twists and turns than all of television soap operas combined. Are the stories and fights real? Does it really matter to Springer fans? The answer will be in the ratings. And so far, according to Springer, those are up.